Jack Taylor. Nice feels, Bill. You got insurance for that? Still chasing lost cats and lost causes, huh? You know me, Bill. Always playing the big time. I heard you had a new case. News travels fast. I want you to drop it. Or else what? You run me over with a wheelchair? Use your imagination, Jack. I don't take kindly to threats, Bill. But maybe it's time you learned, huh? Would that be, Bill? Casey here has been like a son to me. What you did to him, most people would have their faces ripped off. But you and I go back, Jack. So I let it slide. Just this once. Before. Bill Castle runs a drug trade in town. Castle, right. I've heard stories about him. He's the one who pushed the guy's face in the deep fat fryer, right? Nah, it's a myth. He never put his face in the fat. Never believed it, anyways. It was his balls. Job interviewer, or you just trying to impress me? How'd you get on? Right. I had a chat with some of the old fellas living near the laundries their whole lives. They don't recall any names for the penguins. Kept it themselves, they did. Had their own little church, only in graveyard, rarely left the premises. Right cozy setup. It seems weird, though. If this new Lucifer should have lived here for years, but none of the oldies know who she was or what happened to her. Wall of silence, Cody. That's how this country worked. Right, well. I'll try and track down some of the girls who were there, so, but it'll take time. This case doesn't make any sense. Why is Bill Castle, biggest drug lord in the West, protecting scum like Lucifer? Does somebody pay him to? Oh, Bill's loaded. He just need the money, and if it's not about money, then what is it about? Religion? Yeah, that's it. Maybe Bill's doing the church a personal favor. He helps them to cover for Lucifer's crimes, and they'll make sure he doesn't end up in purgatory for his sins. Drag your arse back to planet Earth, Cody. It was just a theory. Why is Bill after the diary? Maybe there's something in there that can reveal Lucifer's real identity. Something else, something which incriminates Bill personally. For a 50-year-old diary? What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. What? Not what, but who? Ralph Waldo Emerson. Who? Oh, forget it. I'll catch you later. thought I'd live to see the day. What day would that be, ma'am? You in an iron shirt with a tie. Is that a compliment I feel sticking from my back? I try my best. Your best, Jack, isn't worth a penny. Useless and worthless, just like your father. What are you up to, Jack? Why is your lackey knows her own church records? Just brushing up on history. No worries. 
thousand welcomes to you, too. Taylor? Taylor? What happened to Jack? I'm just off probation. But Clancy made it very clear that fraternizing with you could be seriously hazardous to my career. Ah, the career. Fuck you, Jack. My job's very important to me. It's everything to me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. So when he leaves? <sighs> it's a professional list, no doubt. The kid had no criminal connections, so no reason why anyone should want him bumped off. Mistaken identity, so? Most likely. Wrong place, wrong time. Final judgment. Final judgment. No one has seen. No one. <sighs> she has a point. I, uh, get this over and done with her. Mrs. Bailey. Burglars. I'll pay for the damage. Hack away, Mr. Taylor. The insurance will cover it. You have insurance? No. But I always wanted to say that. What on earth could they have been looking for? You had enough? Just about. Fancy a quick pint? I'm busy. Oh. Some other time then? It's Bill's man. Casey, no doubt about him. Are you bringing formal charges against him for the break-in? Of course not. He wouldn't have left any traces. So why tell me? Pull Castle in for question. Rattle his cage a bit. I need you to keep him off my back for a while. Buy me some time. You know I can't do that without reasonable cause. Why? This is Galway, not LA. Just make one up. Is that what you used to do? Listen, I put everything on the line for you last time, Jack. This time you're on your own. Do it all over again.
Happy birthday, Mary Catherine Kerrigan. Happy birthday, Mary Catherine Kerrigan. You all right, Chuck? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. It's impossible, Skip. All the old girls that used to be in the laundries, they must have done a runner or something. I, I can't find a single one. Don't worry. I have. Really? Who? I'll handle this on my own, Cody. Jack, didn't recognize a lot of points in your hand. Was well, so there something you want to check? I had a son visit his own mother. Never wrecked the son in all your life. She never acted the mother. Doing some interesting reading lately. You always were a devil for the books. Like your father. Well, this book has three main characters in it. Their names are Geraldine, Louise, and Mary. That's nice. The fourth character. Well, we never find out a real name. But the girls call her Lucifer. It's a shame. After 40 years, finally something we can agree on. You called it a bad time, son. I'm about to turn in. You can see yourself out, father. Good night. What was her name? Good night, son. Jack, why didn't you tell me you were in there? Why didn't Dad? I know you were in the Magdalene's. Mary Catherine Kerrigan. The Magdalene girls were there for a reason. They were whores. Are you calling me a whore, son? I never said that. The nuns did those girls a service by taking them in. Those whores deserve everything coming to them. What was her name? Tell me Lucifer's name. Get out of my house! Jack! Try to understand. You can't imagine what your mother's been through. I know exactly what she's been through. She needs time to get over it. She's had 50 years. For some, a lifetime isn't enough. How do I look? It was nice of them to send someone to see you. The Taylors are all friends and family. Since they live in Galway, they had to send someone to visit me at least once. They didn't have to, they could have just left you. No. They want to see the Kerrigan's fallen woman and gloat about it. Do you know who it is? They'll be coming. Wait! Mr. Taylor. 
There will be no tobacco, no alcoholic beverages, and no dancing. You have one hour. All I know is he didn't find out from church records. I removed the magnet files years ago. Nobody noticed because nobody cared. Besides, all that is so much water under the bridge right now. It never goes away, Father. Do you want me to stay, Mary? I don't know what my life would have been like without your father. Since Patrick's passing, you've been like a rock to me. Nonsense, Mary. For you, I do it. I think I'd like to be alone, Father. God bless them. 